Knock, knock. Iguana. I want to share my enormous gratitude to Senator Portentino for being able to secure $2.2 million in state funds for the LA Zoo. So this is a really great day. It's the first time our state legislature is giving funds directly to the LA Zoo, which as we know serves everybody in LA, Southern California, our state and our world. Thanks to Senator Portentino's leadership, it is going to help us to renovate some exhibits that improve animal welfare and wellness here. There are two bird species that are actually going to be the beneficiary. One is the Cape vulture, it's native to Africa. And then the trumpeter swan is going to be a beneficiary of a renovated exhibit. It's the largest swan in North America. The other funding will provide for our commitment to diversity, equity, inclusion, and access by allowing us to develop a really state-of-the-art uh, design for inclusive restrooms. We want all Angelinos to feel welcomed and feel like they belong when they come here with all the differences that make us so unique and that we're going to uh, use to in improve future uh, projects here at the zoo. So we're just excited to be able to accept these funds from the state and are very grateful. I heard somebody say today, and I'm going to say it, it's not our job to go left or right, it's our job to go forward. And so that's what the zoo is doing. They're going forward with a vision that helps Los Angeles and helps generations. And so I just was pleased to be a conduit to that request to make it happen today. You know, we talk about, you know, wanting to educate and engage our visitors of all ages. We know that young people are the key to the future. So it's really important to develop these young conservationists, children that will take the right actions and have the right behaviors that help protect this planet. And seeing them is the first step to developing empathy and caring about about these other animals that share the planet with us. Every kid loves the zoo, but what she or he learns from the zoo stays for a lifetime, understanding these great creatures, but also understanding our role in coexisting with them, not just being human beings that destroy their habitat.